Hello everyone, welcome back to That Tech Enthusiast podcast and today we're going to be discussing the latest tech news uh, for the 2nd of, what is it, May? January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, on the 2nd of May with my friend who is going to be staying anonymous. Obviously we are recording this virtually, we are not at each other's house or anything like that. We are recording this virtually via Zencaster. But anyway, let's do let's roll that intro music. Okay, we are recording. Yes, we are recording. Right, so today is going to be slightly different because once again I've got what was your nickname last time? Like Dark Mode Man or something? Yeah. Dark Mode Man, that was it. Yeah, well anyway, Dark Mode Man's back. But as far as I can tell, there isn't any Dark Mode to discuss. But There's no Dark we've got, Mode. We've got two iOS things to talk about, and you're also the iPhone person. Yep. Because I'm the Android person, and that's just how it works. That's how it so, is. Yeah. We haven't got any notes, really, for the iPhone 12 because we're just going to kind of read it off the article because it's pretty much already in fairly easy to understand, like bullet points and that sort of thing. But before we do that, I have two announcements. First of all, I have Twitter, at that tech nth. I couldn't fit enthusiast on the end, so it's just nth, E-N-T-H, I think. It's something like that. Link in the description. And then also, yeah, obviously I already had Instagram at that tech enthusiast. And then what was the other one? Discord. Yes, we have Discord server. You're a mod on it. And oh, yeah, I looked at possibly. Yeah, possibly link in description. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I want to make it public today because there's still some stuff I want to add on to it. But yeah, that's coming soon. Yep. Anyway. Right, what do you want to do first? I don't know. I think we should do the iPhone 12. Okay, so I've been putting off talking about this for a while because I felt like it was still fairly early to talk about it, but let's just start talking about it. Yeah. Because there's uh, there was literally nothing on Google News. I was just scrolling through it, and I reached the end in, like, five scrolls. If that makes sense. Yeah. So, you know. I, I'm, we, we've been struggling, so this won't be as long as... Yeah. Well, it definitely won't be as long as last time, because we kind of well, went on yeah, for that, a while. That, that was a bit of a long one. Yeah. Uh, also, real quickly, I just forgot to mention another announcement, three announcements in one, or four, I can't remember how many. But we, well, I, I'm going on the second channel, which is the Alien Doctor, going to be probably at some point doing a Minecraft showcase of my friend's server. So stay tuned for that as well. All right. Okay, let's actually talk about the tech stuff. Yes. So, right, iPhone 12. The first and most important thing we should say about this, it has four different models, apparently. That's that's a lot. Because I thought the Samsung galaxy s20 that has three different the s20 plus or it might be pro i can't remember and, and you the thought s20 that Ultra. was bad i yeah i don't like the s20 having three models i think two is enough or no three is enough like one budget yeah then one normal and then one like premium but four isn't enough and the reason i didn't like the s20 no four is enough four is too many that's the one i'm looking for Falls too many, and then yeah. The reason I didn't like the way the S twenty did it is because it was like normal priced for a flagship, like premium, and then really expensive premium. It I just wasn't. I think every version should have like a like a max version, so the big yeah. version because. It's really hard to get a big phone if you have big hands. The only problem is, is like, that they... for example, with the iPhone 11, the latest iPhone, you can only buy the 11 Pro Max 
to get the latest big iPhone. Yeah. Which is a bit ridiculous. Because what if you want an iPhone 11 that's just big? The only problem is, is that... um, What was I going to say? Oh, I've forgotten. Is that what Samsung have done is they've made uh, like a bigger phone... Like they've made two premium, really high priced phones. And I feel like the one in the middle that's like the normal price of a premium flagship mm-hmm. is probably not going to have as many sales because, well, I guess it might because some people will still want to buy that. But the the people that are looking, the rich people are more likely to buy the, yeah. the, like the more expensive one. And I feel like the, there was no reason for them to make two premium models. Oh, I think. To be honest, if you liked Apple and you had a lot of money, you would buy the latest things, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, I don't really buy the latest Android, though, or Samsung. Well, if you had enough money for them, then you would, I, yeah, I probably. suspect. <laughs> probably. So, yeah, four yeah. new iPhones, one 5.4 inches with screen, one 6.7 and two 6.1. That's a strange order. Should be f- that is... 5.4, 6.0k. Well, that's yeah. just weird just article. Gonna ignore that. I'm going to change that. 6.1. Wait, why is there two 6.1s? Okay, so there's one 5.4, which will be like the budget, budget yeah. one, the lower cost. One 6.7, which is probably the higher one. And then 6.1... But there's two of them. Yeah. So one of them would have been the normal one, I'd assume. But what's the other one? Well, I guess we'll see. Uh, it's yeah. going to take a while for Apple to release their next phones. Yeah, I it's suspect. Expect, it's expect to be... Is this launched or just announced? Yeah, launched in September, October 2020. But there's also a good chance that that will get delayed. And also, yeah. there's a good chance that they will be announced alongside the Apple Glass, which we talked about last week. Yeah, if you didn't listen to that one, then that was just about the Apple Glass. And us going off topic lots. Oh, yeah, lots. That, that happened as well. <laughs> that happened a lot. <laughs> uh, where was I in this article? This is the only problem with reading it straight from the article. Okay. Uh, so OnePlus devices, I've heard a lot of good stuff about them having 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. And the rumor is the 6.7 inch and the 6.1 inch will have one. Uh, actually, no, I think they'll all have 120 hertz refresh rate. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Well, I mean, smartphones are getting absolutely ridiculous now. Yeah. Like, you, for example, with cameras, just as an example, there's, like, some phones, like, the best ones available are absolutely ridiculous. Like, the picture quality in the iPhone 11 Pro is stupid. Yeah, I mean, that was a bad example, but yeah. No, that wasn't a bad example. (laughs) Well, look, there are, there are better things, though, like OnePlus, for an example. The OnePlus 8 can apparently play Fortnite at 90 frames, which is better than a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> so, you know. Okay, that that's quite funny. Although, I'm just looking at photos of it now on their website, and it seems a lot of the high-end Android companies... Well, I feel like the general um, like format that the phones are, like with the cameras are doing now is that they'll have the selfie camera will be the uh, hole punch like on the Samsung S10 mm-hmm. and then the uh, actual front or back camera depending on which way you look at it is like the iPhone 11 yeah that's what I'm noticing a lot with pretty much every new phone yeah but yeah apparently can I run... Can I just say, like, why don't they just put the camera in, like, a little corner of the screen? It is on the hole punch. No, but, like, in in the corner, not in the middle. 
no, nah, they're, they're all over. That's the thing. Like, So on this OnePlus, they're on the left. Wait, is it? Yeah. yeah. But then on the Note 10, on the Samsung Note 10, it's in the middle. And then on the S10, I think it's actually on the right. And on this one, it's in the centre of the screen. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I wonder if this will have a notch. I don't know. You see, I think those pop-up cameras are a bit of a weird idea, but they get the job done. Yeah. I. But the only thing is, is people don't like moving parts in a smartphone, which I do kind of understand, but I don't really think there's too much to worry about, especially if yeah. you're like, buying it from a place which has got given you like a warranty and stuff like that. If you're buying it right. from the right place, then it's completely fine. As long as it's well built, it is completely fine. Yeah, and I I think I would trust OnePlus with that. And Apple. Yeah. Samsung a little less, just because they have had phones explode. Wait, you would trust uh, Apple? Yeah, I would trust Apple. With your because... money? Not with my money. So? <laughs> I think that... Apple wait before, so I'm pretty sure I saw a meme once about iPhones just being like last gen Androids. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of correct. But I mean, Apple takes a long time to design their phones. And honestly, their quality is really good because of it. Yeah, I think that often... Uh, Apple are just waiting to see what other companies do. They'll mm. wait first and see how well that phone does, and then, um, and then if it does, then they will take like inspiration from it. And something which I hate people, so people get angry when iPhone copies Android or when Android copies iPhone, and it's like, yeah. well, they're going to do that because they're two competing things. Well, yeah, it's like saying, oh, you copied the burger from from Hamburg. <laughs> That's really strange, though, because I was actually thinking about a burger as an example then. Uh, it must be a common thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, this is just... Yeah, that just really annoys me when people say that. Yeah, because you can't copy something that is universal so yeah. like you can't say oh you copied my idea of a mobile phone and it's not like if it's copyrighted then like get angry at them because they're not meant to they're not meant to copy something copyrighted but like you can't copyright like um what have i heard what have i heard i'm trying to think of an example that i hear people i guess one that i've not really heard people uh say but an example that you could use is the camera mm-hmm. That's the often the camera, you know, on the iPhone 11. Oh, yeah. There are so many copies of that. But that's because the the those phone manufacturers have seen that phone, the iPhone 11, do fairly well mm. um, and have just bought it. Not bought it. No, I can't speak. They Copied off <sighs> Apple's homework. Yes, thank you. <laughs> um... Triple lens 3D camera, all OLED displays, 5G, A14 chip, and it starts at $649, which converts to £517, although I doubt it will be the exactly 517 They'll probably put it to like 599 or maybe uh, 600 and something. I don't think they're going to do 5G. I don't think they're ready for that yet. I think, yeah, I think... Well, I don't think 5G is worth it at the moment for the price that it charges up on a phone, I imagine. I don't know how much um, putting 5G connectivity in a phone makes the price go up. But yeah. I imagine it will affect it a bit. And I just don't think it's worth worth it because there's like how many places actually have 5G. Yeah. Also, like, I think they... Yeah, as you were saying, I think they need to develop the 5G network more yeah, and make it more widespread so, like, every single place has it, like 4G. 
And I don't right. think that Apple is going to do it yet because they yeah. are very cautious with their phones. So Apart from I... the iPhone, Ben Gate, you know, just, just ignore that. Okay, so three have their 5G coming to 25 towns and cities, including, uh, well, I'm just going to start from the top and go from the bottom. So Glasgow, Edinburgh, Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Leeds, Bradford, Sheffield, Derby, Hull, Nottingham. I can't say that. And I literally live in the UK. Leicester, London, Bristol. I can't say that either. Reading, Brighton, Cardiff, Coventry, Birmingham, Rotherham, Liverpool, Manchester, and a couple of others as well. Yeah. So that's the that's... three. That's quite good. That's um, quite good coverage, actually, for major yeah, cities. Good. Wait, did you say London? Uh, yeah, London's there. All right, I would have yeah. expected that. I thought that would be yeah. the first one. <laughs> um, EE are doing some stuff as well. So they've got they've got London, Edinburgh, Birmingham, Belfast, Manchester, Cardiff, Bristol, Coventry, Les- Leicester, Liverpool, Glasgow, Hull, Leeds, Newcastle, Nottingham, Sheffield, Sunderland, Wakefield. Yeah, and then some more towns as well, which I'm not going to name because I have actually seen like adverts on like billboards yeah. for E saying five G net fastest five G network in the country coming soon. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I from memory, I'm pretty sure the first some of the first five G phones was actually a. This is like slightly random, but some of the first five G phones was the Samsung S. Uh, 10 what was it called like plus or pro um yeah. i'm pretty sure that was one of the first 5g phones also like there's very few active 5g areas right now yeah. so i just wonder how long it's going to take because it might be the same thing with self-driving cars oh yeah. they're coming next year oh they're coming next year oh they're coming next year well um yeah all those ones i read out they probably don't have 5g yet but that's where they're coming they will get 5g they will at some point just so there is some coverage in the uk of 5g and apparently according to the verge they did a little internet connection thing on 5g although it looks like that icon in that phone says for uh says 4g which is slightly strange yeah but anyway, it says your internet speed is 980 megabytes per second. And it doesn't say upload or download. So I don't know. Wow, that is oh, actually wow. that's 220 quite meg- megabytes per second on another one. They've got 190 megabytes per second. That and is... yeah, that's all the ones they've got. That is quick, isn't it? Yeah, that is. That's yeah. faster than my wired connection. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely faster than my wired and wireless connection. Yeah, put together and doubled. I get, I get like forty-two megabit megabits per second download and twelve. Yeah, uh, my megabits per second upload. So mine is dodgy. It it can be good. It can be also not good. It also depends where you are in the house. It depends on how many people are using it. So right now it's not even... Oh, there we go. Speed test is starting. Yeah. So I've got 12 ping and it's just doing my download. Mm-hmm. So right now I imagine my dad's probably working on home. So he'll probably be on a conference call or just some sort of call. Uh, and my brother's playing online games as well. So yeah, you it, see, is, it is being used a lot. Mine's not as affected because literally both my parents are on conference calls and yeah, my sister's so, streaming YouTube and I my upload is sig- always significantly worse than my download. So my well, download yeah, everyone's is I well, think yeah, but like significantly worse. So how significantly worse? I mean I don't know maybe maybe it isn't as maybe this is normal. I know upload is normally slow, slower but i didn't think it was this meant to be this much slower but anyway 34.82 me- uh, megabytes per second download and upload is 8.79 megabits per second upload yeah 8.79. oh is it does normal? tell me my ping 
Oh yeah, my ping is 12. Oh, my ping is... Uh... Where is it? MS. Yeah, I think that's... Actually, delay. Sure it says delay. So yeah, I think that's ping. Yeah. Oh, I'm you. I'm doing the speed test. Uh, by. Ukula. I don't know how to say that. It says Ukula. twenty-one. Speedtest.net. It says twenty-one, so that's not that bad. Yeah. Um. What, what else? Now? Uh, there's a nice photo of probably renders. I mean. I would like. Oh, wow. I just saw some photos of what is that? I think that's the iPhone four. Yeah. I don't know why they put that on here. But well, on if you article. actually read the article, then uh, that will give you a clue. Oh, okay. I was kind of just scrolling through it. The overall design will resemble the iPhone four with Wait, squared oh. with yeah. squared stainless steel edges. Oh, which honestly, I, I like. Wait, you want an Apple phone? What? Well, I want an iPhone 4. Why? I want an iPod as well. But like... Well, you you already have one. I don't have everything. I, never, I really want an old iPod Touch. Like one of the old ones. Someone sent me a photo of an iPod Touch running... Well, it, like they were laughing about it because it wanted to update to iOS 6. And it was... I don't know which model. I think it was like an iPod 2 or 3. And I've very, got an very, iPod very Touch. An old one. Yeah, I've got... Wait... What what uh, do you know which one it is? Uh no. Does it say on the back or something? No, my I've got a sixth gen. But does my... it have like the shiny metal back? Yes. <gasps> yeah. Okay, However, my sister has managed to lock it out, so you can't I... get into it. Oh, which is lovely. I think I know. I'm pretty oh, well. sure you can. You probably can, but it's just in a cupboard somewhere. You can restore it on iTunes. Well, yeah, you can. If you ever uh, want to get rid of it, and yeah, yeah, if you ever want to get rid of it, then there's yeah, always it's, a. It's not mine though. <laughs> True. Good point. It's also quite scratched on the back, but. You can replace the back plate. Right, but anyway, off topic once again. Somebody said to me I should rename my iPod, uh, my channel that iPod Addict. <laughs> Shout out to you, you well, know who you are. Uh, you kind of are. Yeah, I feel like it has got worse it's, over the lockdown. It really is an addiction. It's just... He needs to start recovering, but he won't stop. Honestly, I think they're the best Apple product ever. Like, that thumbnail wasn't clickbait. I genuinely thought they were the best Apple product ever, and I still believe they are. So, yeah. I'm just having a look at the comments on uh, the video that I was in. Yeah, that did quite well on YouTube. Um, that's pretty much all things about the iPhone 12, as far as I can oh, tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, colors. Does it really I mean, matter about colors? Is I'd like it. In it. There's probably like a black color, a red color, and a green color. There we go. I don't know. There might not be, but... Ooh, a new navy blue finish. A new midnight green color, possibly. Mm. Like the iPhone 11. Okay. Very interesting. So that article was by The Verge. All articles have a link in the description uh, on podcasts or on YouTube. So go check them out. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe for more amazing a Brilliant, <laughs> amazing content. Yeah. We have just been talking for 23 minutes. Oh. <laughs> But we've only covered one topic. Oh, yeah. Um, right. You see, this is why we made that hour-long episode. Yeah. It's very easy to get sidetracked when you've got two people having a conversation. Yeah. 
So, right, let's. This is your topic that you put in the Google Doc. Yes. So, do you want to say a bit uh, about it first? Uh, hang on, let me just bring it up. Right. So it's about iOS fourteen. So. Okay. I would, I would, I don't know what they'll do with, what's it called, uh, iOS 14. I hope they make some good changes. I honestly don't know what they'll do. Maybe bring back support for the iPod Touch 6th gen. And that would be nice. it says <laughs> that iPhone 6S will be capable of running the next software update. Honestly, they just need to stop supporting the iPhone 6S. They do. They really it's like do. It's so old at this point. Yeah, it was. It's a 2015 phone. I know you. It does. Yeah, I remember seeing it and it being very popular. But I think most people have a seven or an eight now. Yeah, I have a 7 because I can't be bothered with an 8. There's basically no difference. Yeah. Apparently and... one is apparently the 7 is fireproof but not waterproof and the 8 is waterproof but not fireproof, but I'm not sure if I believe that. Right. But so it's said really told me that. Right. I watched a video of someone literally jumping into a pool with an iPhone 7 with no case and it literally survived for like an hour. Yeah. So, I might have also got them mixed up. I never know. Yeah, I mean, what's really the difference? Generally, the glass back, Hmm. but I think that's about it. I think the main difference is better insides as well, because like you could say, what's the well the differences between the iPhone X or the iPhone X and the iPhone Eleven? Because from the front, they basically look the same. I'm pretty sure they're even the same sizes. Although, don't Hmm. quote me on that. Um. Yeah, there's the main differences between the iPhone 12 and iPhone, the iPhone 11, sorry, and the iPhone 10, is that the insides just more powerful. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the iPhone 10 can't do 5G, but the iPhone 11 can. I'm actually not sure. Can it? I didn't watch the launch for the iPhone. 11 because i always get bored in the apple ones also did apple release like a live stream like a youtube premiere video for the iphone se 2 what do you mean like was there a big rollout was the because i didn't see any ads for it or anything I literally just um, looked on Apple's website. Oh, the one new day. SE. The new SE. Yeah. I just looked on Apple's website one day and I was like, what? There's a new iPhone SE. What? Yeah. Uh, um, right. Well, yeah. I'm on their channel right now. Well, if you go to their, their featured video, is actually like the trailer for the iPhone SE. I know. I've never seen it. I didn't see any. Or did I see some adverts? I think I saw like one advert, like just on TV. But I don't really watch TV that much anyway. I mostly stream things, so you know. Yeah, I I really don't watch TV. Yeah. Nobody really does. I mean, I'm sure people do, but well, like for live shows. Yeah. But I don't really watch that many live. Well, I mean, shows. the probably the best live show thing is Twitch because you get that audience interaction. Yeah. But and for, that... for gaming, but for like. If you're into talk shows or whatever, then they're not on Twitch. I have, by the way, okay, I also need to put this out there. All the stuff will be in the Discord of where to find me. All of my links. I've even put Twitch and Mixer, which I don't stream on. Although in the future, I might, in the very far future, I might stream on Twitch. But I don't stream on there, but I do watch streams. So I've put those in Discord on hashtag where to find me channel. So that you know that it like if you see somebody with my name commenting, you know that that like an inappropriate comment, you know that isn't me. That that's why I've put them there. Yeah, you would you wouldn't do that because you are nice. Yes, I am not being paid to say this. 
<laughs> Just like puts on the Google Doc, you better pay me. Oh yeah. I want the ad revenue. Uh, Social Blade reckons I earn zero to six dollars a month. Oh man, I'm going to have to take that money. <laughs> I don't. I don't even have adverts. Oh. Unfortunately. Well, I could. On YouTube, you have to be like over over 18, I think. Although, I want to have a look at the terms and conditions to see if like your uh, parent or guardian is allowed to do it on like my behalf. Yeah. And then... Just give me with, the money. With the podcast host, which is Anchor... You have to be in the. You can do it if you're under thir- If you're over thirteen, no, under eighteen and over thirteen, mm. then you can do it as long as a parent does it for you. However, you have to have a U.S. You have to live in the U.S. And even if you have a U.S. bank account because of taxes, you can't do it. So I basically can't get um, ads on the podcast thing until um until they had support for the UK. Yeah. But then I was also thinking about like would I still get money if I recorded those ads on YouTube as well? Because I think my understanding of it, the way it works, is like it matches me with a sponsor and then I talk about the sponsor on the podcast and then every time somebody listens to that bit I I would get paid. But what happens about the people that watch it on YouTube? Do I get paid for them seeing it? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter yet because it's only for the US. But yeah, uh, the other thing is, is getting Amazon affiliate link or, well, they changed the name of them because it's like, apparently it's really strict about, um, like you're not allowed to say you're partnered with Amazon or anything. Or not pun. Mm. I can't remember what it is, but like you can't say that like Amazon have sponsored you or anything like that. Oh, Amazon Associate—that's what it called. But the URL is still Amazon Affiliate, so that works. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you're even allowed to like, because I know LTT um, had their had tips for anyone, yeah, for anyone who doesn't that doesn't know. know that you can they were advertising their thing at the end of every video, but then apparently they got um, threatened to have the Amazon account taken down because they advertised it at the end of every video. Mm. Uh, So I don't really see, like, how you advertise it. I think you have to advertise the product and just not really talk about the fact that it's an Amazon associate link. Yeah. I think. Is it an affiliate link? Well, it used to be an affiliate, but now it's a uh, associate. Associate. Yeah. Yep. But the URL is still Amazon affiliate, so I don't know. Mm. But yeah, we've been going for thirty-two minutes. We have been going for thirty-two minutes. And well, that's all we've got in the Google Doc. If there's anything else you want to talk about. No, nothing really. I'm just, right. I'm, I'm still here. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, by the I way, think... everyone, thank you for the nice comments. That's very nice. I didn't see any comments. No, on on so... our latest uh, video, you hearted Wait, were there one. Wait, actually comments. <laughs> yeah, you hearted <laughs> I one. About them. <laughs> yeah, I, when I go to the, co- oh wow. I've you replied to it as well. That I need to watch. Um, oh, yeah, I know what you're on about now. I know what you're on about. I yeah. On about. It's because when I go to YouTube Studio and then I press comments, mm. I don't think it tells you which video it's from. Yeah. So, like, I'll just, I'll do it right now, but I'm not going to show you because there could be personal stuff on here. But if I just press comments. Well, oh, hello. Asked... There are some new comments. Oh, wait. It's... No. So I've put the filter on for I haven't responded, but it's still showing me ones that I have responded, so I don't know how that works. Ooh, hang on. Someone's put, which is actually a good point, Google Dark Mode looks like incognito mode. How are they going to do that? Also, what's the intro song? Oh, someone likes the intro song. (laughs) I made it myself. 
Yeah, you made it. <laughs> and I want to extend it because literally that bit of the intro song, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I want to like edit and I d- can't even remember how I made it. So I need to go into Audacity and like try and just use bits of that to basically extend it. Yeah. Um, right, okay, that... I'm going to reply to some of these comments. Video oh, quality yeah. is great except for the mic. Wait, it's a podcast, so the video quality is just a what? Feature. <laughs> the, and the mic is fine, I think. Do you think my mic's fine? I oh, think, I think your right. is fine. For £60, it wasn't too bad. This person has made a good point about uh, it, dark mode looking like incognito mode, though. How are they actually going to do that? Maybe like a different shade. Because incognito mode or no, incognito mode is like properly black, whereas dark mode could just be kind of like a could light grey. Kind of like yeah. Because like dark mode doesn't say black mode, it's like a light grey mode. So there we go, there's your the response. Yeah. Right there. Well I have enjoyed recording this. Yep, yeah, it's always fun. It's always do fun. It with someone else. We should do this more often. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's end it now. I guess so. Yep. Thanks for listening, watching, or listening and watching at the same time. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel like it i don't know i'm terrible at and selling this up that notification bell yeah that's it <laughs> come on you gotta get you gotta beg for likes i don't want to sound like i'm like begging too hard though like oh yeah if you don't like in the next five seconds then your you'll house get might 10 blow up. years your house might get burned down and you'll have 10 years of bad luck yeah exactly like but like with a uh, microsoft or text to speech. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like and subscribe in the next ten seconds to receive ten years of good luck. Yeah. Um. Right. Hopefully this doesn't get corrupted. Cause yes. My I Google hope Drive. Doesn't. My Google Drive is full, so I'm having to save it on my desktop. Okay. I'm just gonna name it new episode because. If you're hearing this, thank you for listening, and it didn't corrupt. Yeah, comment. uh, Wait, what should we tell people to comment if they made it this far? Comment uh, nice things. (laughs) Like the word nice things. Yeah, comment the literal word nice things. I want to see how many people actually make it to the end. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can only do it on YouTube. Oh well, yeah, if if anyway. you're listening on like Spotify or something, go over to YouTube and do that. Anyway, yeah, and and subscribe also there. Anyway, let's go before we like continue making this episode long just by selling. Subscribe, this. subscribe, yeah. subscribe, subscribe. Right. Okay. Bye. Bye.